Hello and welcome to my frame rate test for Kerbal Space Program. I wanted to see what type of settings this game could play on and if it was possible to play. Now the short answer is yes. Alright, so the first resolution I got was 1024 by 768. I kept the terrain detail at default, scatter at 50%, the render quality I just put up, but the texture quality I put down to quarter res. Uh, keep anti-aliasing off. Um, I think that was it. So in the vehicle assembly building, we're getting about 30 frames per second. You know, it's not too bad. I just went through the tutorials just to sort of get a basic understanding of the game. But, yeah, I still don't know much about the game. So yeah, this is just a basic rocket. We just need a parachute so we can recover the vehicle. Now we just need to separate the stages, otherwise the rocket and the parachute will go off at the same time. So out here on the landing, I think we're getting about 20 frames per second. Now it's still pretty good, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, yeah, I would prefer it to have a higher frame rate, but I mean, I think this looks fine. Still learning how to fly the rocket though, so maybe I'll continue the videos through my career mode. I'm just kind of learning as I go at the moment. Now I don't think it matters when you deploy the parachute. You just want it to slow your velocity down so as soon as it gets lower to the ground. It'll open up. Alright, so the next resolution we'll try is 1280 by 960. Uh, keep everything else the same it was, but we'll try texture quality at half res. Seems to be okay in the hangar. We're getting maybe 20 frames a second. I mean, not great, but it looks nicer. So, let's see how flying is. So we're getting about 15 frames a second, so a little less than 1024. You know, still not terrible. Alright, so now we're trying 2160 by 1440. Getting about 20 frames a second hanger here. Now it looks a lot crisper, that's for sure, but everything else is like super tiny. I can't even see what I'm doing practically. I'll have to check if there's a way to... the text is even tiny. I'll have to check if there's a way to make that bigger. Well, oh, that's horrible. It's like six frames per second, maybe? Maybe a little more? No, that's not good. Now let's, for the hell of it, let's go back to 1024. Let's turn some of the stuff on to high. So like the terrain detail and the texture quality will just go full res. Let's, let's see what we get here. So the hangar I'm pretty surprised at. We're getting about 35 frames. You know, the buttons and everything are good size. There would have to be a way to make that bigger. Even if you put it to the highest resolution you can, it's, everything is tiny. You can't see anything. Yep, and here's what happens if you don't set your stages correctly. Alright, not bad. Uh, about 22 frames a second. Yeah, I say it's definitely playable like this. Um, so let's just see what we get if we turned everything to low. So if we turned terrain detail and render quality to low, but let's keep the texture quality high so it looks a little better. Uh, let's test this out, see what we get. Wow. Well, it's actually better. Uh, we're actually getting like 60 frames a second in here. Alright, now let's check the launch pad. Seems to be about 50 frames per second. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, still working on that whole flying thing, though. I'm using a Surface Pro 3 i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM with the 256 hard drive. While it is playable on the device, it's difficult if you 
just play it off of the screen and the keyboard uh, because you will need a mouse to scroll around and zoom in and all that. I found that pretty difficult to maneuver. Um, but you can sort of see what's going on just from whatever default camera it's got you looking through. Um, you can try to like pinch the screen and stuff maybe. Um, but if you're playing on the go, you're probably okay with just the keyboard. Um, but if you're sitting at a desk, I would recommend a mouse. So I haven't messed with too many of the other settings. I just wanted to run a few tests just to see if it was able to play um, while I was away from home. And yeah, totally is. This actually ran better than I thought it was going to. Uh, but yeah, I'm still at the beginning of the game. So I haven't done too much yet. Yeah, one of the tutorials takes you into orbit, and that seemed to run all right. Um, but as far as anything past that, I, I'm still learning. So uh, leave a comment below if there's anything you want to see in more detail. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.